so, uh, Camille, I, I definitely want to jump in and, and start with where did this idea come from? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I, um, I've spent many, many years being ashamed of, uh, as a parent, thinking I'm a terrible human being and that I brought my children up very badly. And I've come to terms with the fact that maybe I haven't been, done such a bad job um, because I'm quite dark minded and I think we have a kind of hilarious household, but we do talk. I do invite uh, the conversations to, into the home and I don't believe in forcing trauma on anyone, especially not my children. But the conversation happened because they, they, they just watched War Horse. I much like that down because I keep forgetting the. And they said, Mom, what are we going to do when uh, there's a war? And I said, well, sadly, if there's a war now, it's going to be a much more serious kind of war. And I remember as a kid, Raymond Briggs. Do you know who Raymond Briggs is? I've heard he the name. The snowman. Not... He is an incredible um, animator in, in England. Uh, he wrote cartoons and they uh, made them into films. But he made an animation film, which you might like, you might want to call Where the Wind Blows. And it was a cartoon about two uh, working class old people who are living in a cabin during a nuclear war. And I remember as a child watching it and feeling utterly traumatized, completely traumatized, thinking what are the nuclear war. So I think this, this, this horror of a nuclear war, the world end, he's stayed with me since I've watched that film as a child. So maybe I wanted to do the same to my children, I hope not. Um, but I, I said to my kids, well, I don't know what we'll do. We have a choice of whether we run around the forest with a gun and try and save our lives, or we end up eating each other, or we just cuddle up in bed and say goodbye. Um, and it's a very extraordinary, uh, actually traumatizing conversation to have, but how do you, what do you say to your kids when they ask you what we're gonna do if there's a war? It's like, well, th there is no nice way of having that conversation. So, um, yeah, what was the question? <laughs> Why did I make the film? I wanted to make the film because I wanted to talk about all the things that I like to talk about or feel obligated to talk about, but to make them fun and entertaining and not too traumatizing, which I don't think I have necessarily achieved, but I think that the conversation should be had in, in, our, in our world. That's, that's why I wanted to make the film. Uh, for Kira and, uh, and Lily Rose, uh, I would imagine this is an interesting script and I'm curious because it's, it's one movie until it isn't. And I'm just curious if your agents and the people that gave you the script told you anything about what this was or just says re or just said, read this and tell me what you think. Um, I, I got to read this and tell me what you think. I, I got I got uh, I got three of my agents all phoning up going, we really like this, but you might hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm intrigued already. This is great. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I mean, I, I've said this before, I was very pregnant when I read the script, so it massively, uh, it, it really, um, it worked with my major hormones that were going on at that moment. It worked with the fact that I'd been sick for about six months of the pregnancy and then I had sciatica and I was suddenly lying in a swimming pool and I read this script and I was just, I thought it was the most hilarious thing that I'd ever read. Um, and then uh, and then I met Cammy six weeks after I had the baby and equally very, very hormonal. And again, I thought it was hilarious, but you know, we've been talking about it a bit before. It, it, it was, it, I think it really fed into this kind of idea of the maternal catastrophe. You know, it, it's like when you give birth to a child, you give birth to life, but you also give birth to fear that you've never experienced before. Um, and, and I really felt like this spoke to the kind of deeply dark maternal side and and in this moment where we're looking for kind of female stories and we're looking for female storytellers i think still maternity is one of the the, the parts of female storytelling that is still quite taboo and particularly the darker sides of maternity um and i felt like in a very funny very unique weird way this this utterly spoke to that side of my psyche which i hadn't seen in film before um, and uh, yeah, and I, I was I was very excited by that. I, I do have to say that we started filming when my kid was then five months old and I was not hormonal and she was sleeping through the night and I then read it again and went, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my okay. God, this is the darkest thing ever. So, you know, I, I mean, I, I think it's a deeply hormonal film and that's why I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lily? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. What was the the, the original question? Oh, was was about the how, how did the how did your uh, your agents or your reps pre present this script to you? Did you know what was going to happen, or did they just say read this? 
Um, no, I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. I feel like it would have been a shame to, you know, to, to, to spoil that before I got a chance to crack into it by my, by myself. I did get a hint that there was, it was something with a crazy twist. And so I was like reading it and like waiting for the twist. Cause you know, you've seen the movie I assume you start off and it's like really funny and it's sweet and you're like oh this is a nice group right I think right and then like you know as it goes on and on and on then the twist happens and everything and 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 that's when I was really uh really hooked I mean I think this story is so like fiercely uh unique and um and bold and you know just just like Cammy and when I met Cammy I just was like I am so obsessed with this woman I so badly want to be a part of her of her film and I and I and I and I really really loved my my character and her story and I was and I was heartbroken by it I mean I think that it's you know as we talk about motherhood and and uh, the the kind of maternal catastrophe that that is happening for a lot of the characters in this film and that informed you know Cammy's writing and directing of the movie, um, I really like the place that my character sat in that because she, um, you know, is is kind of in between. You know, she's an outsider. She's not part of the original group. She's there because she's James's girlfriend. She's not necessarily like loved by the rest of the group, and so there's like a little bit of a distance there and everything and 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 she's you know living with this horrible pain of 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 you know almost bringing a child into the world and wanting so badly to be a mother and feeling your your uh, child alive in your in your stomach and knowing that you're not going to be able to give them um any sort of a life i mean i think that she, when we meet her she's in this kind of horrible um indescribable heartbreak of 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 that you know motherhood that's not going to be and so i think that that's a really um, you know, she represents another part of the kind of maternal catastrophe that we're talking about. Um, and I, and I really like the place that she, you know, occupied in that. Uh, I have like 17 questions and I was told I have one, I can ask one more question. And I don't know what to ask. I'm overwhelmed by, cause how much I want to talk about, um, uh, shit. Um, I guess I'm going to, I guess I want to bring up Roman Davis because he's so good in the movie and his brothers are so good. Um, and, and, and all of you, you guys all have, you know, obviously you all worked with him. Uh, can you talk, talk about what surprised you about working with him? Because he's only made, this is his second movie. And it, it's almost like he is, like, this is his 30th film with how good he is. Roman is so, I just want to say, I'm going to let everybody else talk about Roman and Cammy is his mother. So she should talk about him the most. But I had a lot of my scenes with Roman and, and our characters are like really linked in this really beautiful way. Because I feel like Sophie, you know, has a really particular connection to the children because she's like with child and she knows she's not going to have the child and also because she you know shares more of the the morals that are like you know arts morals than the rest of the adults and they have this really specific and really beautiful connection and so I had a lot of scenes with Roman and he is just like staggeringly talented it was really so impressive to to just see him work face like I remember that scene that we did on the on the bed when they're talking and it's a really big moment for Roman and everything just watching him do the scene I was just like I can't believe what I'm seeing in front of my eyes right now he's so like such a beautiful he's such a beautiful person I adore him and he's just so talented I, I can't wait to see what he does with the rest of his career and life I have to say very quickly I think the, the cast need a lot of credit with with because one of the reasons where Lily was cast, I'd say as equal, other than wanting to work with Lily and understand in knowing that, that Lily would understand me in the project is that Roman, he physically changed around her. We went to have a tea with her in the hotel in LA. And he, his, I, he, I've never seen him do this around girls and, and women. He completely changed. And I thought, wow, we have to put that in the film. And, and Kira and Matthew with Roman, was so supportive of him. I think he is an exceptional actor and I'm very proud of him and his acting, but everyone gave him so much space to do his best work and they helped him. There was a scene that Kira's talked about in another interview where she took his face in her hands because he, he found the scene so intimate and difficult, the scene in the car. And she held his, because he wouldn't look at her and it got to the point where I was screaming. I was like, fucking look at her in the face. We were losing our life. Your dad said we can't shoot the scene. But it was hell to a degree because we the scene was so important. And, and, and Kira took his hands and her face, and it's so beautiful, um, uh, that scene. So the scenes that, that Roman has with, with Kira uh, uh, and Lily Rose, I think it's kind of amazing. It's actually interesting me having this conversation about motherhood and parenting, because I, everyone kind of parented him in a way, uh, not because he needed it, because he was, you know, struggling, but 
it was a very loving environment, a safe environment, even though it was so hyper dysfunctional, the material. And but he I was really lucky. I think I have to give the cast an awful lot of credit for taking having the courage to be in the film and then for supporting my children the way they did, because I couldn't do it all. There was too much to do, you know. Completely. Um, I'm, I'm being told to wrap up. Um, so Kira, I'm going to I'm going to stop you there. But I really mean this. When the film down the road is coming out, I really do have other questions and I would really like to do follow-ups because my list of, I really enjoyed this movie and there's a lot of stuff I'd like to talk about. Um, so hopefully Well, I'm down happy the road, to do that. I can't talk for the ladies, but you've, I, I, obviously I'm really excited to hear you like the film so much. So you, you can reach out to me whenever you like. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm being completely serious. I would love to talk more, especially with all three of you. I really did have a lot of other questions. Uh, congrats on the movie. I hope it gets awesome reviews. And um, please let me know how I can help promote it on Collider um, because I would love to help you with however we can do it. You know, that's very uh, amazing. That's very thank kind. You so thank much. you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. You guys have a fantastic day. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.